People are strange, they are constantly angered by trivial things, but on a major matter like totally wasting their lives, they hardly seem to notice. People don't need love. What they need is success in one form or another. It can be love but it needn't be. At the age of 25 most people were finished. A whole goddamned nation of assholes driving automobiles, eating, having babies, doing everything in the worst way possible, like voting for the presidential candidate who reminded them most of themselves. Show me a man who lives alone and has a perpetually clean kitchen, and eight times out of nine I'll show you a man with detestable spiritual qualities. Something else is hurting you. That's why you need pot or whiskey, or whips and rubber suits, or screaming music turned so fucking loud you can't think. I like to change liquor stores frequently, because the clerks got to know your habits, if you went in night and day and bought huge quantities. I could feel them wondering why I wasn't dead, yet and it made me uncomfortable. They probably weren't thinking any such thing, but then a man gets paranoid when he has 300 hangovers a year. Getting drunk was good. I decided that I would always like getting drunk. It took away the obvious, and maybe if you could get away from the obvious often enough, you wouldn't become so obvious yourself. That's what they wanted. Lies. Beautiful lies, that's what they needed. People were fools. It was going to be easy for me. Music is much like fucking. But some composers can't climax, and others climax too often, leaving themselves and the listener jaded and spent. I often stood in front of the mirror alone, wondering how ugly a person could get. Things get bad for all of us, almost continually, and what we do under the constant stress reveals who or what we are. Nobody can save you but yourself, and you're worth saving. It's a war not easily won, but if anything is worth winning this is it. There are only two things wrong with money, too much or too little. When I begin to doubt my ability to work the word, I simply read another writer and know I have nothing to worry about. My contest is only with myself, to do it right, with power, and force, and delight, and gamble. I have one problem, I don't hate people. They disgust me and I want to get away from them. I do not have hatred. I have an escape mechanism. The difference between a democracy and a dictatorship, is that in a democracy you vote first and take orders later, in a dictatorship you don't have to waste your time voting. When nobody wakes you up in the morning, and when nobody waits for you at night, and when you can do whatever you want. What do you call it, freedom or loneliness? I don't know about other people, but when I wake up in the morning and put my shoes on, I think, Jesus Christ, now what? I was glad I wasn't in love, that I wasn't happy with the world. I like being at odds with everything. People in love often become edgy, dangerous. They lose their sense of perspective. 
They lose their sense of humor. They become nervous, psychotic bores. They even become killers. Human relationships didn't work anyhow. Only the first two weeks had any zing, then the participants lost their interest. Masks dropped away and real people began to appear, cranks, imbeciles, the demented, the vengeful, sadists, killers. Modern society had created its own kind and they feasted on each other. It was a duel to the death in a cesspool. I had noticed that both in the very poor and very rich extremes of society, the mad were often allowed to mingle freely. Too often the people complain that they have done nothing with their lives, and then they wait for somebody to tell them that this isn't so. Frankly, I was horrified by life at what a man had to do simply in order to eat, sleep, and keep himself clothed. So I stayed in bed and drank. When you drank, the world was still out there, but for the moment it didn't have you by the throat. Sometimes you climb out of bed in the morning and you think, I'm not going to make it, but you laugh inside, remembering all the times you've felt that way. I've never been lonely. I've been in a room, I've felt suicidal. I've been depressed. I've felt awful, awful beyond all, but I never felt that one other person could enter that room and cure what was bothering me, or that any number of people could enter that room. In other words, loneliness is something I've never been bothered with, because I've always had this terrible itch for solitude. We're all going to die, all of us, what a circus. That alone should make us love each other but it doesn't. We are terrorized and flattened by trivialities, we are eaten up by nothing. That's the problem with drinking, I thought, as I poured myself a drink. If something bad happens you drink in an attempt to forget. If something good happens you drink in order to celebrate, and if nothing happens you drink to make something happen. I felt like crying but nothing came out. It was just a sort of sad sickness, sick sad, when you can't feel any worse. I think you know it. I think everybody knows it now and then. But I think I have known it pretty often, too often. Being alone never felt right. Sometimes it felt good, but it never felt right. There is always one woman to save you from another, and as that woman saves you, she makes ready to destroy. I was drawn to all the wrong things, I liked to drink, I was lazy. I didn't have a god, politics, ideas, ideals. I was settled into nothingness, a kind of non-being, and I accepted it. I didn't make for an interesting person. I didn't want to be interesting, it was too hard. What I really wanted was only a soft hazy space to live in, and to be left alone. 